Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to design Shepard tones in Yuhi's software Zebra 2. If you don't know, Zebra tones are an auditory illusion where tones seem to continuously ascend or descend in pitch. It creates the feeling of forever rising or falling pitches, and uh, this can be an incredibly useful tool for composition. So I've linked two videos for more information about the usage and history of Shepard tones in the description of this video. Number one, what you want to do is to create two blank oscillators inside this grid menu. And for these, we need to make them parallel. And what that means is that they're separate to each other. So if we go here and click oscillator two, we can just delete this for now. We have two oscillators here. For now, we can set this to sine waves. So here I can just go through and cycle to a sine wave. Now this looks like it's set to something else. So I can just go here, factory, uh, or just extras, initial. So number two, you need to make sure that these are both in, in, in parallel because how this works, if it's in series, as in if it's going underneath each other, then um, that is technically FM synthesis or it'll be running the signal through each other. And we want them to be following their own curves and LFOs independently. Step three is to create a mix module. And so we go down here. And we go mix. And now what we want actually to do is to right click on here and select sidechain two, which basically means it's routing oscillator two into this mix one. So now what you want to do is uh, go to your oscillator one tune and right click on the second parameter. This will affect the overall pitch for your tune. And we want to basically uh, set this to LFO two. And then on oscillator two, we want to select LFO three. We want to be positive 12, meaning a full octave on both. So now what we want to do, down here, we want to change this value, right click here and select LFO four. And then we want to route this to the mix of your mix one. Make sure on this area, it's set to 46, as this will allow some motion. Now, number six, go to envelope one, and just ensure that you have a high attack, high sustain, and a high release. This will allow the start and end points to blur together so you can get a seamless continuous sound. Now, LFO one, select free, change this to one eighth, keep it on sine wave, amplitude on 100%, and change the rate to 102 or 100 and just 100, that's all fine. LFO two, we select gate and we change this to eight to one, meaning eight bars of rising pitch and falling pitch. Now make sure you change this to a saw wave upwards as this will allow a pitch from zero up to a hundred and then to fall and reset. Rate can stay the same. Now LFO three, we will keep exactly the same as LFO two. The only difference, however, is simply a phase of 50%. And finally, LFO4, we select to gate, eight to one, rate of 100, and phase of 30. You need to just make sure that through this section here that you have envelope one all down to zero for these three. Number one can still be selected to 50, uh, but just ensure that these parameters are all the same on screen. Now also um, make sure this is set to none, um, and you can use some creative plugins down here just to shape the sound and do some interesting things. Um, now, I just made sure also that these are on re-phase and um, it doesn't make much of a difference, but it just helps a bit. And then you can just play around with uh, these waveforms. I also changed these just to this thing here and um, that allowed a little bit of extra um, harmonic information. So this is the uh, end result for the sound. I'll also be supplying the preset for this uh, in the description. And this can just rise for as long as you like. You can change the rates to make it a lot slower. You can put reverb or change your oscillators and put weirder processing on these to um, basically 
make a more of a complex wave. But at its simplest form, this is the general template for how you would go about creating a shepherd tone within Zebra. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.